The Kobe One robotic stretcher has been officially presented at the prestigious hospital San Juan de Dios in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. So before starting, the inventor and developer of this new technology, Don Manuel Borges Belza, would like to thank Don Juan Manuel de Leon Garcia and brother prior Miguel Martin Calderon, both responsible for the management of the hospital and their team. It is the first time that this equipment has been officially presented to the public. It is unique, the first product of its kind in the world. The robotic stretcher aids in the assistance and handling of people who remain in bed for long periods of time due to different pathologies, paralysis, Alzheimer's disease, morbid obesity, etc., or people who have reduced mobility. The Kobe One stretcher allows the assistant to easily perform the most important act for the care of this kind of patient. Pick up the patient from the bed, lay the patient on the bed, shower the patient on the stretcher, allow the patient to perform their physiological functions on the stretcher, adopt different positions so that the patient can enjoy leisure moments such as sitting at the table for a meal, playing board games or reading, looking out from an elevated window, etc. These functions of the Kobe One robotic stretcher will greatly improve the quality of life of patients and their families and the efficiency of their caregivers. Let us explain in more detail the different functions of the Kobe One robotic stretcher. It can lift a patient from the bed automatically with the assistance of only one carer. You can place a patient on the operating table.
the Colby 1 stretcher can reach a height of 1.2 meters with the patient sitting on it, considerably higher than the standard chair or wheelchair. It can also be used as a transport cart or as a chair with different positions so that the patient can enjoy leisure moments such as sitting at a table for a meal, playing board games, reading, looking out from an elevated window, etc. The stretcher turns into an electric wheelchair so that the patient can switch from a stretcher to a chair automatically. physiological functions of the patient can be performed on the stretcher by replacing the central module for two independent and motorized modules. This action requires approximately 50 seconds. Then, the toilet can be installed under the stretcher. The device has an automatic washing and drying system with no need for assistance. Regarding the hygiene of the patient and his whole body, the stretcher can become a shower. It includes a device for the collection of the water, the shower, and a drying system. Assembling the shower requires less than two minutes. The stretcher has a hose that connects to the water supply.
the patient can be easily rolled over while showering in order to reach all parts of the body. Una de las mayores preocupaciones de la Orden Hospitalaria de San Juan de Dios siempre ha sido la dependencia asociada a la enfermedad, cuya máxima expresión es el encamamiento. Agradecemos que Manuel Borges haya querido probar la camilla robótica COVID-1 en nuestro hospital, pues nos ha permitido comprobar el enorme avance que va a suponer en la asistencia a las personas encamadas, tanto en hospitales como en centros sociosanitarios o en el propio domicilio del paciente. Hemos sido testigos de cómo la camilla COVID-1 facilita el aseo y el baño de los pacientes, la transferencia de la cama al sillón, o en nuestro caso, el traslado de la cama a la mesa de quirófano, movilizando con suma delicadeza al paciente y facilitando al personal sanitario dicha tarea, evitando los riesgos laborales asociados a la misma. Desde el Hospital San Juan de Dios, deseamos a Manuel Borges el mayor de los éxitos, con este invento netamente español, diseñado y desarrollado pensando únicamente en las personas dependientes.